Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about Cloudflare. It's also something that's come up in the Facebook Facebook group recently and there seems to be some sort of misunderstanding about what it is and isn't. So Cloudflare is what's known as a CDN. A CDN stands for a content delivery network. If you can visualize this, and I didn't do a graphic. Um, the CDN, Cloudflare as an example, there's Max CDN, there are several others uh, that are also available and also have free plans. They sit between your host and those people who would visit your site. So the original benefit was that because uh, a CDN like Cloudflare could basically look at what's on your site and upload everything into a cache setup at, uh, at Cloudflare, it could serve these things faster to site visitors than if it were to, uh, than if a visitor were to come directly to your site and sort of reach out for each thing as they needed it. And, you know, then um, the, the speed of your host is obviously involved and uh, that can be good or it can be bad and there's certain parts of the day where it's better than others and so the idea with a CDN was it would scoop up all this stuff because it has massive really strong servers and it would be able to serve um, what the site visitor asks for more quickly and it would have a routine that periodically went back to your site and looked for things that changed um, you know the cache wasn't incredibly static. In other words, if you if you put something up, um, you know, and then changed it a day later, it wouldn't be very long before Cloudflare reflected that change in what um, they're serving to visitors. It was just a way to speed things up. It was also really cool because there are these crazy things called denial of service attacks that um, get launched from sketchy countries and sketchy people and sometimes they're aimed at servers that are more vulnerable than others and because Cloudflare's got incredibly amazing servers you know with uh, uh, just really robust setups it was far better able to withstand these denial of service attacks than um, you know your average host especially you know in a reseller box or a shared box or something like that so that was as a value. Um, the SEO crowd, which you know, I probably consider myself a part of for several years now, first fell in love with CDNs when there was this perception that um, if you run a, 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 let me back up a minute, if you run a private blog network, you're basically linking out to other sites in an attempt to convince Google that the site you're linking out to has extra value it's more important than it probably is in the scheme of things and you know therefore you want it to appear more worthy because you were linking to it and you want uh, the site that you link to to be ranked higher well the problem is that it's very difficult if you manage large private blog networks um, to to go out and get a host a different host with a different IP address for literally all of the sites that you need and even if you find a host that has multiple IP addresses it can add up really quick I mean some charge two dollars a month per IP 250 per month per IP and um, you know it can it, it can add up really quick and so there was a time when people believed that you could take a WordPress site put it behind Cloudflare and then Cloudflare would mask from Google or any other search engine for that matter the fact that they were that that multiple sites linking to this same target of yours you know were on the same IP address or closely related IP addresses it's been that theory's kind of been blown by a couple of people who are convinced that it doesn't really offer all of that security and I'll, leave, I'll let the debate stop there because I didn't really want to get into it here um, there are other people who have handled that controversy in blog posts and in other settings and I'll let them fight that battle 
one of the benefits, uh, at least for me, has been that it makes it so easy to change hosts. There are times when I'll sign up with a host um, at the beginning of uh, a plan, you know, with maybe a coupon for like 50% off or 40% off. And then when the year is up, or two years is up and that plan comes due you know it's full price and maybe I can find a better deal somewhere else or maybe I just want a more upgraded hosting situation well it makes it really easy when you're using Cloudflare with each of your domains because you simply log into Cloudflare and change the IP address that it points to for to you know to whatever your new hosts IP is and boom you're done you can literally do a domain in seconds in the past what you had to do was you had to go to your registrar and make a little bit more extensive changes but then you had to wait for the change to propagate which depending on the registrar because I'm telling you right now some registrars are far better at propagation than others um, you know it could take quite a long time to make these changes and if you had registrars in a million different places I mean I know I've got six or seven different registrars I'm sure and I think some people have far more than even that it's just a pain to juggle where you go to make all of these changes and so Cloudflare because it gives you a central interface for making these changes is really really pretty cool um, the downside of course is this potential privacy leak that I talked about and I want you to read up on that I mean extra credit points if you'll actually sit down and use um, Google you know to investigate the controversy that I talked about it really only applies I think if you've got um, PBN sites although you know there are rumors and fears about mass de-indexings of SERP shaker sites that are on the same IP address or related IP addresses and you know, I have respect for those rumors even though that has not been the case with me um, you, you just may want to uh, learn as much as you can about these kinds of issues and make sure you're as prepared as, as possible the other thing um, is it's an extra step at the setup uh, you have to go in and um, Cloudflare makes it pretty easy there's a little you type in the URL and you hit a button and it goes out and it scans to find out where the domain is currently pointed it basically walks you through um, setting that domain up so that it points uh, to where you want and it tells you to go to your registrar and make a one-time change to point that domain at Cloudflare and from then like I talked about above whenever you change hosts you just log into Cloudflare and change the IP address it's far faster and far less complicated so Cloudflare has a lot of uh, advantages chief among those is that it's free they have paid plans which do more sophisticated things but for what we're doing with SERP shaker or even private blog networks those paid plans are not important uh, so I hope that gives you a better understanding of what Cloudflare is what it does and and why you might want to use it it's not necessary um, for any of, of this that we're doing uh, technically it's not even necessary for private blog networks but uh, there are some great benefits and I, I intend to continue using it